the uh, Sports Broadcasting Act of 1960 prevents the NFL from playing Saturday games before this weekend, but now they're all in with three of them. Vikings-Bengals, the first one, 1 o'clock Eastern on Saturday at Cincinnati. Three-point favorites are the Bengals with an over-under of 40.5. Jake Browning versus Nick Mullins. You want me to go first? Of course. You always go first, the Vikings. You know that. Well, I'm not very optimistic about the Vikings at this point, even though the table is set for them. And even though, despite scoring a mere three points last weekend, everything else went their way. Seahawks lost. Rams lost. Packers lost. Lions lost. Vikings have a realistic shot at winning the division somehow. And I guess they have a realistic shot at winning this game. I just don't see it. The Bengals are in a groove with Jake Browning. And this doesn't strike me as a Josh Dobbs situation where the chariot suddenly turns back into a pumpkin. Yeah. He knows that offense. He's been in that offense. He's running that offense. He's got Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, and Tyler Boyd. He's got a great running game led by Joe Mixon. Jake Browning, I think, ends up being the difference because of the pieces around him. 24-17. Bengals win. Bengals cover. And I guess that puts it just a half point over the over-under. Yeah, I, I, um, I have a lot of the same feelings you do. Yeah, I don't think, you know, again, I don't expect Jake Browning to be starting quarterback or anything like that next year, but I do think, yeah, that the bubble's not going to burst here where it's like, oh, no, all of a sudden he falls off earth and it's going to be three and four interceptions. Now, this will be his tough, ch- toughest challenge as of yet as far as defense he is facing, but I feel like Cincinnati's in a little bit of a groove of what they do. Play action pass, screens on the outside to the receivers, screens on the outside to the running back. They're managing the Jake Browning situation just right, right? And again, a little bit like I talked about with the Raiders uh, Chargers game. I think this game is very close. There's no doubt about it. I'm not going to make it a best bet, but it's still Nick Mullins' first start of the year in Cincinnati. The crowd will be something of a factor there. And I'm going to just lean on the. The culture of Cincinnati and the fact that, hey, they've been in two AFC championship games in a row here. They're not going to just wilt away just because Joe Burrow is not playing for them anymore. I think they're trying to prove a point that they're a complete team. I'm going to go with the Bengals, but slightly closer than you. I'm going to make a 21-20 Bengals win this one. Ooh, you're giving the Vikings the cover in that one. Very interesting to see how that plays out. All right. Uh, Boy, I'm going to find myself rooting against the Vikings on Saturday because I'd rather be right and I'd rather pick up a game against the spread than have the Vikings win at this point because I know that however it ends, it's not going to end well for the Vikings. Yo, yo, what up, homies? Thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe to Chris Sims on Button. Right now, we got Sunday pod, right? So you can have it Monday morning. We recap all the action. Wednesday, it's the what the f- happen podcast we're gonna get deep in the weeds on the key matchups of the week and then thursday i'm picking games with that jerk florio so you know where to find us homies keep watching peace out we'll see you